Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another graphic art video in the new year. Oh, I haven't made a new year's video for you guys because I was really busy, everything was crazy going on. So, uh, first of all, happy new year to you. Hope you will be healthy and your family, everything will be good. May you be blessful this year and uh, all good things should happen to you and me and everybody else because we i guess deserve it <laughs> so uh, yeah okay okay but uh today is 11th uh, of january uh, 2024 and uh yeah i haven't made the video for some time now because we are preparing i got lots of uh, work at home here because we will be lifting up the house and uh, we will be making new apartment at the top floor and uh, then you need pro architect and you know everybody else to get them and it was at the end of new year it's it was chaos chaos guys but uh okay you know today is 11th uh, of january and uh i woke up to some uh, disappointing news on my birthday yes <laughs> even though it said it's released at the 10th yesterday i haven't gotten the notification yet but uh yeah we get new drivers today and uh yeah not so much going on lately because i guess it's new it was new years and everything they haven't had the time to work on the stuff but uh i mean we got lots of new announcements you know you i will be able to check in a bit but uh yeah this driver is like previous driver i mean we can test it out in a future video but uh it's for prince of persia i mean this game it's a 3d scroller 2d scroller yeah i haven't checked the trailer yet but uh I mean, it looks okay. I might be buying it and testing it out in the channel here. And uh, we'll see how it goes, if it's really driver optimized or not. But uh, yeah, if you've watched this video from PC World, you know, I won't play it right now. I will just leave a link down in the description. You should watch this one and uh, see what kind of future will bring Intel to our ARC GPUs. So uh, yeah, I still haven't watched it. But uh, I surely know that uh, it will talk about Battle Mage and uh, the release date will probably be 2025, probably. I have to watch this. I'm sure some of you guys already did. Am I right? Was it 2025? Do you expect it to be released next year? Not this year? I mean, it would sure be really good if the new GPU is released this year, but... Uh, We'll see, we'll see. They still got some driver and stuff optimization that they need to do. So, uh, yeah, check out the video. I will also check it out once I finish with this video recording. And we can talk in the comments down below. Uh, but, uh, yeah, oh, oh, okay, for, uh, forgot to close this tab. Okay, one customer asked me how much is the battery here in Slovenia for HP that they need to replace Pavilion 14BF. This is with my discount. 50 euro, 50 euro. Oh my god, look at this guys, um, you go Amazon, okay, it's business discount, but uh, look at the price guys, look at the price, 18, 18 euro, and it's the same, same thing, man, I checked on uh, iFixit store, I think it's original HP battery, 80 euro, okay, whatever, good, we will not be replacing this because... Uh, We'll just buy the cheaper one, replace this, tell the customer that it might be a little bit worse than original, but uh, I mean, they save a lot of money. My, they, they can just replace those, that 256 gigabyte SSD to maybe a bigger volume, like one tera, instead of, uh, you know, paying more for the battery. But yeah, have you seen these guys? Uh, handheld, I mean, I still have my Steam Deck. I'm not sure where it is, I'm around here. I'm, I keep on using it. I got it, uh, I got the plan to actually, you know, again, open it up, use that, um, how should I say now, NVMe to PCIe adapter, and we will test our Interarc A380. I just got to go to the shop and record it. It's a plan, it's a plan because I really want, it's time that I, uh, you know, open it up and uh, check again what's inside. But uh, yeah, lots of new handheld gaming devices coming out this year. MSI Claw is one of them. I've seen some videos. I mean, it looks promising. It looks promising. But the main point here inside is, you know, this again. Intel Core Ultra 7 processor. I mean, up to the latest. I guess you can purchase a more budget-friendly variation with, uh, I guess, what? Ultra. I don't know which processor. I haven't checked what the newer ones are. But uh, if you check here... The ultra processor will have obviously 
Intel Arc graphics, which is integrated in the CPU, but uh, what this can mean? More uh, mobile handheld driver optimizations might bring as well better driver optimizations for our inter graphic cards here in our big systems, you know? So, uh, yeah, it's good to see. It's good to see that uh, more stuff with Intel Arc is coming out because then the team will surely be working on more driver updates like they have uh, past one month, <laughs> but okay. Uh, yeah, okay, you know, this weird naming Intel. I know it's combined driver for the new CPUs and this one is also for our GPUs, but um, I think you should uh, do something with the name. That's just my opinion. Just make it universal, let it work with everything else. Show it down here for what it supports and uh, just like it is now, see? And uh, yeah, use the n proper naming. Uh, I mean, I mean proper naming. We just got used to the one number. Now we have two more and then which one is which? Last time I was checking in, uh, I think I have it disabled now. But uh, when I had installed the, um, when I had enabled Intel, this integrated graphic, I think I have it here disabled. Yep, it's disabled. Man, it's not disabled, but it's not working. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Uh, last time I had a bug that it showed me actually the ultra version, but then once I disabled this and installed just for Intel Arc again for A770 because I was testing previous version with the newest version again. And uh, yeah, then it went to the normal version like it was, uh, I don't know. I'm confused guys, I'm confused. Hopefully you are not, but I am. Uh, okay, I also got uh, one overclocking video, a, a new technique that I use how to find the best quick overclock for a graphic card. Again, okay, this is for me. Some people, you know, in Discord, we were talking about how much graphic card takes, what kind of watts it can take, because uh, if you go to the Predator software, I mean, okay, we still need to modify with this software the overclock. If you want more watts out of your A770, I have the limited edition, this was the most watts that it used for me, but uh, based on a few Discord members, you know who you are if you are watching the video, we found out that my silicon on A770 is acting really, really, really weird. I just hope you have better silicon than me, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I have to test my A750 again, yeah, let's check how that one goes, but uh, yeah, I mean. We can also overclock the iGPU, can't wait uh, for the integrated Intel Arc to see how it performs in the consoles, but uh, yeah. Guys, I have to go do some more work and uh, prepare for something, a new video for you. I will change up the content for this channel, I will focus more on probably technical stuff. I mean, there will be still some benchmarks here and there, but uh, yeah. It will be more covering news and stuff like this for Intel Arc and do some experiments which nobody has yet tried. If we find any, because uh, what can't you find on the internet, man? You work on something, you are working, you are almost to the finish, then you refresh the page and you see someone else posted it up. So uh, <laughs> then you gotta go either post it up or uh, make a new video. Anyways, thanks for joining this video. I hope these news are exciting for you as they were for me except for the driver oh. but uh yeah see you in the next one pretty soon hopefully i got something there planned have a great day guys and enjoy bye -bye. by the way if you do this overclocking you know it's at your own risk don't blame me if your graphic card dies